Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I'd like to uh, introduce you to our Flash interactions and show you how to uh, kind of get started using them. So right now, I have one of our tab interactions opened up in Adobe Flash CS5, and I'm on a Mac. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, preview it with you and let you know what these interactions are, and then I'll show you how to make a, a few edits and adjustments. So the interactions are just a, an interactive way to display content for a learner. So it's ways of grouping your content into um, sections and then display it when you would want. So the, this particular one are tabs and there's seven of them. As I click on each tab, it displays content that would correspond with that, that unique tab. And the content animates in and so forth. Um, in this, interact in this uh, screencast, I'd like to show you how to change the title or um, how to you know, put your own content on this tab as well as put the content in here for your content area in the white box. I'd also like to show you how you can adjust how many tabs actually display. This particular one has one to seven, so I'll show you how to adjust that. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and just uh, dive into the setting to adjust how many tabs you would like on these interactions. Uh, though we're doing it for the tabs interaction, know that all of our interactions are programmed and set up the same way. So what I'll be showing you today will work for all the interactions. So to adjust uh, the actual number of tabs you want to show, you'll go into your timeline on the actions layer, and there's a little A on the keyframe there. You want to just make sure you select that the little a references that there's action script code on that particular spot of the game or the interaction. Now, now we'll want to open up our actions panel. If yours is not open, you'll want to go up to window and select actions. Once you're in here, you'll notice that there's some copyright information. We let you know what action script version you're using as well as what version of the template you're using. This particular one is version 4. The next line down here references the number of buttons. You'll see the grayed out text to the right of each setting, and those are just some instructions as to what the setting is and what your parameters are to change it. So this template references seven is the max amount of tabs that you can have for it. So let's just change the number down to four, and that's that little number right here. So we can change that anywhere from one to four, and it would work just fine for the template. Now our particular template will not show that there's only four buttons until we publish it. Once we do a publish, then you'll see that there's only four that show. Right now, it'll just show whatever the, um, the default is as it's set up. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to actually change the content for uh, the title that goes over the tab. You'll want to go into your library and go into your button titles folder. And let's get the very first one that we want to do is our title one. So we'll click on the BTN title one. Open that movie clip up. You'll notice that there's a red box. The red box does not show when you publish the flash file. It's only there as a guide. As long as your text and images stay within the red box, it'll display properly. So you just want to make sure you always keep in that box. You can type in whatever text you like or copy and paste something in if you'd like to also. You can also change the color. You can change the color, import images, um, really do whatever you like to stay within the guides there. So once that one's done, let me go ahead and show you how to now add the content for the content one area that would reference with that button. So I'm going to go back to the library in the content folder and click on content one movie clip and open it up. Once again, we have that red box. We just need to make sure our content stays within the red box as a guide. You can copy and paste or type in your own text right in there. If you'd like to import an image, you just go up to File, Import, Import to Stage. Then we can just go out and find the image that we'd like and put it in there. Once again, we need to stay in that red, within the red guide. This image is too big, so I'm going to use my Transform tool and just shrink it down so it fits. And really that's how you get started using the Flash Interactions. I'm going to publish and preview just so you can see what we've done. We changed it to four buttons. We added some text here on the button number one. And there's our content for tab number one.